Cool, so we've got it all in Git, and now we can start adding some new code. And you can see that if I make a change, it comes there in the margin, so it might make it a bit easier to follow as well. Um, so what I want to do is display a list of users in the block. Uh, let's go back to the dashboard so we see the block. That, that's it there. And so right now we just set the text to some static text. This is the text. Let me show you how to fetch users from the database. First you start with this global variable db. And Moodle initializes this earlier. And it basically is the interface between your code and the database. So maybe after we uh, do a check if we've already set the content in here somewhere, let's do a db call to get records from the user table. So that's as, that's how easy it is. You know, we we you, we get this global variable, and that's how we interface with our table. We don't want to have to write SQL when we don't have to. Uh, we want to like let Moodle handle that, especially because, for example, Postgres and MySQL could have different syntax. So we don't want to write it directly. We want to kind of let Moodle do all the behind-the-scenes raw SQL formatting and use these standard Moodle functions when we can. Uh, and we can have a look at the user table as well. Uh, we got three users in there, so makes sense. We got our test user and admin and guest. So from here we want to return these users and put them into a variable. And then for each user we can do something. So the get records will basically give you back an array full of each uh, full of objects where each object is one row here. So maybe the way we'll do it is make a string which we initialize as empty and then each user will kind of concatenate on the end of that string the user first name and we'll put a space user last name so we'll just kind of display their names and this is going to be output as like raw HTML so I'll just put a line break there as well and then let's set that instead of just this is the text we'll set that as the user string. Um, yeah, let's see. I mean, hopefully that should work. We'll save that, refresh the page. Right, so we see a list of users there. We've fetched them. We could also change one of the names in the database, and that should reflect here. So let's do that. If we open up the user table, and I'll go in and make an update. I'm just going to do it directly in here, but of course we could do it writing an actual query. But just just want to do a quick change, so change his name to Bob, for example. And we'll refresh. Now his name's Bob Smith. So yeah, every page load we are running this code, getting all the records from user table and displaying them. Looking good. So I'll just do a quick commit as well. And let's continue. Let's maybe add a setting to change the way this looks.